Local agencies are coming together to help improve wildlife areas affected by a phosphate mine. KPVI news that works for you journalist Zane Hope and joins us now live from the newsroom with the details. Zane. Thanks guys. After this mine site was approved in 2017, part of the deal was funding projects to restore impacted surrounding areas. Now, federal, state, and local agencies are working with a local nonprofit to make it happen, and anyone is welcome to apply. In 2017, phosphate mining company Agrium, which is now Itafos, got approval from the Bureau of Land Management for the Rasmussen Valley Phosphate Mine. The site is northeast of Soda Springs and, like most phosphate mine sites, has a significant impact on the surrounding wildlife areas. The impact from the, from the um, mining construction was um, mostly habitat loss. Um, sagebrush steppe habitat as well as Aspen. As part of the bylaws in the initial agreement, Itafos pledged to assist with the mitigation efforts to offset whatever impact was made on the region. They voluntarily provided a nearly $1.2 million fund to go towards the restoration. The fund um, can go towards private land, it can go towards state or federal uh, properties, so it's available basically for anybody that wants to do a habitat improvement that meets the criteria of the, of the request for proposals. That criteria consists of many different factors, including proximity to the mine, likelihood of success, and how well the project lines up with the goals of the several agencies that comprise that habitat improvement team. The agencies that make up that team are the BLM, Shoshone-Bannock Tribes, the U.S. Forest and Fish and Wildlife Services, as well as the Idaho Departments of Fish and Game, Environmental Quality and Lands. And once the application process is complete, the ball should start rolling pretty quickly. Our hope is that, you know, the, with, the, with the funding that's available, the $1.18 million uh, will be put on the ground uh, starting this fall and will be very visible to the public and have benefits immediately for wildlife. If you'd like to apply for a wildlife improvement project in that area or want more info about the fund, you can find the link on our website at kpvi.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Zane Hopin. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you very much, Zane.